Why Herbo? Why are you so expensive to level up your skill to level 99? Hello, my babies, ZabbyQ, and welcome to another video of RuneScape 3 Skill Guide. That's right, this is a skill guide of Herbo. And as you know, I just said earlier, why is this so important to the Keter? Well, it's because of this. The potions and the skills, like the potions and the ways you have to go through. Do it's like say you want to make, say going in combat, at with the three powers, ranged, magic, or melee. You have to make an attack potion, a strength potion, and a defense potion for melee. Hey, okay. for the other two, it's just one potion. And if you want to make more less potions for melee, hey, you actually can do that by combining these three potions into one. So yeah. Anyway, enough about that. These are tips and tricks I'm going to teach you about Hobo with a skill guide. So before I jump into the first part. I'm gonna let you guys take a look at, at my skills and what I had attained to. Alright, now let's go ahead and talk about this the skill of herbal. Alright, so first up there's an interesting way of herbal. Oh, and that is like I said using the three com combat styles, range, magic, or melee. Hey, well, you can do that by making potions and that sort of thing. So, let me show you about this first tip, and that is the herbal skill outfit. This outfit is a called a bottomless outfit. It is allows you to give, give you herbal XP for bonus based on how many you have. So if you have five pieces, that's five five percent of bonus XP, and you get a six one the six one which is attachment the modifier, you have six percent of bonus XP for her ball. Oh, another thing about her ball, you can make potions. There are three different kinds of potions for for early level, and then three more after the level. Like um, I'm not sure how it really works works, but I think it's like you work you work on the bottom, and you and then you work to the top once you reach the max level, which is level ninety nine. Yeah. So there are three vial. There are three kind of potions for early level. Vials. Vials. Flask. And then and the combined potions. So the the normal potions are the vials. The combined potions are the crystal flask. And then the flask are like are like um an extra dose of the normal potions. Say you have a double potion that can go up to four doses, says, then you can create that flask that has six doses, but this crystal flask actually has more over, more dose than ever, and that's actually eight. So you basically want to create like these kind of ways how to do them. Then and the, the main reason are the are actually a vial water, water, a herb, and then a special ingredient to make the potion. Sure. Say if I go to, let's go to herbal skill, and say I want to know how to make the first potion, which is attack potion. Well, it would say 
Uh, well, first of all, we won't say the, the vial of water, actually. Mainly we say we did a grum, a grum herb, and an eye newt. Because normally you ain't know it's actually a vial of water. Order. So you just need what you just need to know what kind of herb you need and what kind of special item you need, which is actually the eye of newt. Newt. Yeah. Another thing about herbal is is the portable items. I have a portable Fletcher, but there is a portable potion making that allows you to make potions a lot a lot quicker. What they do uh, actually is they save a lot save a lot of ingredients by making po the potions from from the portal vial, like the portable well, that was the call it it. But um it's kind of interesting how it works because you can also save ingredients and give you more XP uh, based on your herbal level. Like if you have a low level of herbal, you get uh, less less XP. The higher your level is, the more XP you get, you get, and so on. Yeah. So basically, you just want to soften down. Now, normally you want to work your way down, um, work your way down, we're talking about vials, and then work your way to the top, which is the crystal flask. Max. And that's, that's actually under level 99, above 99 is actually the bombs, the power bur burst, and the primal extra extracts or should say uh should i say the overlords which is uh which is actually like a boost of the combat skills yeah anyway enough about that let's get into the first method of the skill for hubble i'll talk to you about them for the time being so let me hear you over there All right, so let's start with the message of football skill, how to get to level 99 as fast as you can. The first method is doing four quests, and those quests are Druid Ritual, Drunk Potion, Recruiting the Drive, and Dick Sight. Through, one, through level one through level 19. Yeah. So do those four quests to access the uh, basic of football or and to understand what it's about now now after you complete those four quests is you want to move on to the other basic of uh, potion making like now you know how to make them all and that sort of thing thing well level 9 through 12 is making attack potions all you need is a vial water a clean glum and an eye newt you only need to make 25 attack potions to get to low 12. But, but, and then it's not that expensive at all, all, but it's well worth it to make them all in these. So, it's not easy actually to do them all, but, uh, because it's kind of hard in, in these. So, anyway, once you get to lower 12 herbal, you want to move on to strength potions. Through level twenty six, with the which is a vial water, a clean turmoil, and a loot wood wood. This was a little more expensive than than the attack potion, but you only need to make one hundred and forty four strength potions to get to level twenty six. They give you forty XP each. Each. After that is 26 through 38 level to make energy push potions. Now energy potion actually gives you like one energy to resource. And those are a vial of water, clean her herbiding, uh, and a chocolate 
Yes, sorry, I'm going to butcher these herbal names. Now, this is more expensive than the last two because you you actually need 322 energy potions to make get to level 38. They use 67 XP each after all. Now, this is where the big um, one come into that's more important than anything else. So level 38 through 55 are the prayer potions. This potion saves your life while you're in a battle at all if you win low on prayer point, um, points. What you need is a vial of water, a clean wall, and snake grass. Okay, this is actually kind of um, big amount of it. You need 1,557 prayer potions to get to level 55. All right, they give you 87, 87.5 XP each. Each. And normally that costs half a million, over half a million GP to make all those. 50, over 1,500 potions just to get a level 45. If you want to go over that, then that's uh, way much money. And I think, I think, I believe it's like, Five mil or ten mil to get this to just do prayer potions to get to the low ninety nine. Next one, level fifty five through fifty six are super strength. Now you go into the ways that are a little more a little more expensive. Okay. Super strength potions. How to make them? Level 55 through 53. You need a vial of water, a clean conjum, and a lip root. After all, you also need the, the strength potion too to make a super one in these. Up. So now this is a little more uh, access to it. Like you need 16, 16, 16. Super strength potions to get to level 63 will give you 125 XP each. So let's try an even number in these uh, 1616. Remember that. that. And three mil to make that much. <laughs> 63. Three are uh, super, super resorge. So, to make super resource, you need a vial water, a clean snapdragon, and red spider eggs. Eggs. Also, you need a the resource potion too. You need to make three thousand seven hundred twenty-four super resource potions to get to level seventy-two. They give you four one hundred forty-two point five XP each. Now, I'm not sure why they could add the number 5 to that in D cell, like 3,725, but we get a point is uh, quite a lot in D cell. So that's snap. Make sure you gather a lot of, of Snapdragon in D cell. Seventy-two through eighty-one are the super range potions. You need a vial of water, clean wolf weed, and a wine as a rack. Now you're going double the, the amount of making the po these potions, which are seven thousand nine hundred sixty-one, and they give you one hundred sixty-two point five XP each, each. And they're over four million to make all those. Oh my! All right, now they're getting a lot more expensive. See, I gotta say, eighty-one through eighty-eight are the seven booze. These are a little more important than the, the than the prayer potions, actually. 
So if you don't know, these are kind of interesting in D-Cell. Like you have to make these potions a lot more consistently based on, based on using combat at all. Oh, and they do save your life from boss battles in D-Cell. Anyway, A, to make the certain brews, you need a vial water, a clean toe flex, and a crush ness. Okay. Now you need to make 12,184 serum brews to get to lower 88. To give you 180 XP each. Each. And it costs 11 million to, to make all of those. Now that's a lot, actually. 12,000. Oh my. <laughs> Alright, okay. So these next three methods are not going to be there. I'm not going to talk about it yet. First of all, I want to talk about the two other potions, potions that you can make um, late game. Um, how, how well scale. So the first one is the, the flask. So these flask actually it gives you access to make a overdose of six potions instead of four. Four. Uh, number one, that's actually what I just said. Number two, ooh, they actually can make a really good potion called the Gusset Brew. Uh, it gives you a lot of health and a lot of boost status from um. I think from your combat skills. And then number three, the um, UDB quest called the first result to actually make these flask potions. So make sure you follow those three steps after all. The, more important, the most important thing is actually do the quest called first result. So the next potion you can move on late level are the crystal flask and these flasks actually they are pretty good in these so it's like in six doses they give you eight doses of making potions to save your life in combat because you, you actually can combine them with other potions since there are actually four doors after all so these are the normal vials combined with the Crystal flask to make combined potion and be so. So, and then number three, you need to complete a quest called Plexan. And and my golly, Plexan is actually a math roll to do. Not only a grand master quest, it also has many uh, sub quests to to this. Uh, quest series in so because it's actually a elf storyline quest series. Right, make sure you do you do those in so especially that quest plugs in to unlock the crystal flask. Right. Normally, I would um, you should unlock the the normal flask first since that's actually pretty easy. You just need to be one quest, um, two quests or three, and then you can do the other quests to unlock uh, plugs in and make that those crystal flask. Enough about that, about that. Let's let's move on to the ones that you have to get to level ninety nine. Nine. Now those are pretty, not too expensive actually. So there are three of them. The first one is the most expensive one. Uh, those are making extreme potions. Now you don't, you, normally you need those based on how, what kind of herbs and special items you need. You also need the super potions too, to make your extreme potions in these so, and combine them all together. You combine all the extreme potions together to make one overlord. Lord. So that's at level 88 through level 99. 
remember at level 96 you can make you can make an overlord potion the cheap method at level 81 through 99 and those are the, those are the super potions to make make all the super potions to upgrade them to extreme potions since those are the cheap methods of it. Um, and then the, the less expensive, save, level 96 through 99, are the overlords. Oh, and you can make a lot of, of these overlords because you only need like 3,000 to get to level 99. And they give you a thousand. 1,100 XP each to make each one of our Lord. Now that's a lot actually in detail. So pretty, pretty uh, essential and improvement, I gotta say. Hey, now based on these three uh, methods to get to level 99, this one is over 200 million. The cheap one is I think it's like she wants like like a uh, hundred million or hundred k. Okay, and then this one is actually over two hundred million too, but it's a little less because you you just making the you just making the overlords to combine with the extreme potions in these cell. In these cell, plus you need a plain torso too. Yeah. But enough about that. For those methods now you know how to make herbal of the potions and let's move on to the rewards of these of this skill okay so the first reward that you attain and that is the herbal skill cape this skill cape can give you a boost of herbal and Instant clean all glomb of in the inventory. No XP will gain from this doing this. So you won't actually gain any XP from this skill, like doing this skill cape after all. Normally you just have, say you have a full inventory of herbs and you right click, press, click, just activate it. And then it goes to your inventory and say, I want to clean these kind of herbs instantly. But it does that at uh, all the way through, you know, and you gain no XP from them because it's just you just clean them instantly. There's not much of it, of XP. Because I think cleaning each herb is like one XP each. So, what do you do you know, about that? Anyway. After that, there's a skill pass pet full for ball actually. Actually, I think it's called uh herb ball. See? Yeah, this guy, the, the herb turtle. Or should say or should say a tortoise. Yes. So this is a uh, herb or Sierra Pet. And then one last thing, and that is this skill is a Artemis skill. You can actually collect a shard from the from your expert skill cape after all. And I wanna show you what I've been working on. In the cell. This is actually the last one I've been picking up. I got one more left. From my first extra skill cape, cape that is, which is actually Artemis, I did level 99 fletching. And, but yep, you can get this crystal or shard from it. And I think that's actually pretty much it. Time being, yeah, I believe I forgot to show you the moat of the skill cape. So hold on. Let me show you the moat. Emote. And there you go. 
It just shows you the products, how to make a potion. So that's pretty cool in this though. And I think that's actually pretty much it for the skill guide. I hope you enjoy it after all. I hope you learn a lot how to make potions for combat and for skilling too. Two. And with that, I'm going to leave the video here. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Join TV Ravens. Do follow me on all my social media accounts. And have a great football day. Hey, farewell and goodbye.